Two people seriously injured after chaotic crash involving a tractor trailer and a car. And that wreck also leading to a fuel spill in a parking lot. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morahone is live. She's at that scene in West Miami Dade for us. She tells us about the cleanup that is now underway. Leanne. So traffic is now flowing once again on Chrome Avenue, but if I step out of the way, you can see in that parking lot is the tractor trailer that was part of this mess. Crews still cleaning up what's left behind. Now two people are in the hospital. A collision on Chrome Avenue near Southwest 8th Street sends a tractor trailer barreling towards a building and this car looking like a mangled mess. The Florida Highway Patrol says the tractor trailer was hit by a Toyota sedan, which caused it to lose control. It then went off the road and into the parking lot of a tobacco shop, striking a car in the parking lot and pinning it to the building. Meanwhile, FHP says the two people inside the Toyota suffered serious injuries. The lady was able to get out the car. I mean, you see the damage to the car. She was able to uh, get rescued and, and out. She's going to be okay if you ask me that. I didn't see like a whole bunch of blood on her face or anything like that. It looked like she was going to be all right. Trucker John Jefferson said he was getting some rest inside his own truck when he heard the helicopter arrive and filmed this video of the air rescues. I was asleep here, so I heard the helicopter coming down from right there, and I jumped out because it woke me up. Crews closed part of the roadway as they tended to a fuel spill in the parking lot of the tobacco shop. The events leading up to the crash are still under investigation. And we are still working to get the identities of the two people who were rushed to the hospital as well as an update on their conditions. Again, what exactly caused this crash to take place and how it transpired, that is still under investigation. For now, reporting live in Southwest Miami Daily and Morejon, Local 10 News.